guys welcome back to my channel so today we are talking about oscar looks so many beautiful red carpet looks that i want to go over with you i'm only going to share my favorites because i want this video not to be too long so we're going to start off with beyonce the queen she looked so stunning in this valentino haute couture gown this color complimented her skin tone so perfectly i loved that she went with the color that she wore in her live performance that beautiful david coma look just stunning and this cape with the off the shoulders and the earrings it was chef's kiss she looked flawless and i love that jay-z's look also complimented her as well perfection and valentino simply just got it right all night yesterday because zendaya yes ma'am when she shows up on the red carpet it's just like everybody else can go home i have arrived <laughs> She's always flawless and just, she never gets it wrong. Her stylist knows her body. He knows what looks well on her frame. She really can pull off looks that most of us simply cannot. And I just love this look on her. It's effortless and it's just beautiful. Her swept hair, just simple and lovely. And her jewels from Bulgari. She looked gorgeous, just, just as always. What can you say? The next look from Tiffany Haddish. She looked, oh my God, gorge. When I saw this Dolce & Gabbana emerald colored dress, I was like, yes, Dolce. Tiffany looks awesome. I mean, this color on her skin with her blonde hair, she really knocked it out of the ballpark. I just love this look on her. And I think this necklace that she's wearing just totally completes the look. I love that emerald in the middle. Perfection, flawless. Next, we have Sophia Carson in John Batista Valley. Listen, she came to take over the carpet. Yes, she did. This is the dress that you wear when you are going to the Oscars and you want to give old Hollywood glam. You're wearing this. She looks absolutely stunning. She's giving ball gown. She's giving me drama. She's making the pageant girl in me very happy. <laughs> I just love the way she looks. I love the little swoop. And you can tell that she feels good in this dress. The way she's twirling around in it, she's super happy and confident. This is a look. This next look is Ariana DeBose in Valentino. Absolutely fab. I mean, she is giving cape. I love a cape, especially when it's red. <laughs> and these trousers, they just fit her to perfection. This is how you tailor pants. Valentino did her absolute justice. I love that they really paid attention to her style, her personality, her stylist really gave her something that complements who she is. And I love that. You know, just because you're going to the Oscars doesn't mean you need to dress in a way that's not true to your, true to yourself. And this is so true to her sense of style and I love this piece. Okay, now we have Megan Thee Stallion in Gaurav Gupta. Megan said, I am going to be sexy and I'm going to serve you body. And that's exactly what she did. <laughs> she looks gorgeous. She looks very glamorous. She's still showing us her personality in this outfit and the color, this steel blue, absolutely beautiful. The beading on the bodice. I love her hair. She is giving us a look, okay? <laughs> I love this look. She looks absolutely beautiful. Next, we have Maddie Ziegler in Jean Battista Valley. Again, if you're going to do old Hollywood glam, you want to do it with Jean Battista Valley because they just get it right. I love this gown. I love the drama, the fullness, volume, gorgeous dress, and her hair and makeup is perfect for this dress. It's simple. There's so much beauty and simplicity, especially when you have so much drama going on in your dress. This is absolute perfection. I love this look. Now I have a few looks from the Vanity Fair after party that are equally fabulous. We have Gabrielle Union in Valentino. Again, this brown, gorgeous, sparkly gown is so stunning. And Gabrielle is radiating, honey, okay? You can tell she loves this dress because she is, she's glowing. And I love her hair. I love her hair in this like little twist with the hair coming out. She looks beautiful, just beautiful. This next woman, she always gives fierce. She always gives fashion forward. She always gives a look. This is Anya Taylor-Joy in Dior. I love this look. It is so fashion forward. I love that she has her little Dior 
her little Dior veil covering her face. It's the perfect combination of elegance and fierce at the same time. She always pushes the envelope and I love that about her. Next we have Becky G in Etro. Yes, Becky. She came to sparkle and shine just like a true pageant queen would. <laughs> she looks absolutely beautiful. The color of this dress is gorgeous. I love how it catches the light. I really think this little pocket detail is quite interesting. It makes the dress unique, not just a, another basic sparkly dress. It makes it super interesting and she just looks stunning. Stunning. We have Zendaya again at the Vanity Fair after party looking fabulous in this suit by Sports Max. I mean, she never gets it wrong. Always fly, always right, gorgeous. Next, we have Venus Williams in Ellie Saab. She looks so stunning. I love this look on her. This dress fits her body just to perfection. I mean, the girls are taped in, honey. They aren't going anywhere and this dress just is beautiful. She looks like an ethereal goddess. I just love the cuffs. Beautiful. Now we have Anjanae Ellis in Versace. This dress, this color, this color is absolutely beautiful. And this dress is giving me so much drama, so much fierceness. I love that she went with something in this bright color. Versace definitely did her justice in this gown. Absolutely beautiful. Next we have Regina Hall in Vera Wang. I love this dress. It's so beautiful and I love the fabric, the way it's just flows and the movement of it is gorgeous she looks so lovely this brown it even though it's brown and it really matches her skin i think it still complements her i think she looks really really lovely so guys those were my favorite looks from the oscars let me know what were your favorites were there any looks that you loved that i didn't mention i'd love to know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time